good evening everyone welcome to durga soft online training okay and welcome to data structures and algorithms with java okay so good evening everyone and welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and uh, welcome to so core and advanced sorry 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 welcome to data structures and algorithms data structures and algorithms with java sir this is batch 4 successfully we have started two batches and uh, it is going well okay this is the third batch sorry this is the fourth batch what we have okay uh, sir i think my audio is very clear for everyone if anyone is having some issue uh, you can please cross check from your end okay ajay you have not connected to audio one second please connect to audio sir i request everyone to please don't switch on video okay right so coming to sir please don't don't interrupt me while class is going on i request everyone to please be on mute until i give any queries if you have you can ask at the end please wait don't unmute yourself okay please be on mute and myself you know very well k prakash babu having almost 14 years of experience as a trainer as a trainer okay and coming to this course it is nothing but already i have given the title of the course which is nothing but data structures data structures and algorithms data structures and algorithms with java so our batch number is data structures and algorithm dsa with java b4 this is nothing but our batch sir so timings of this batch is every day okay we will have the class at 9 pm 9 pm to 10 pm 10 or 10 15 like that okay so uh, only the classes will be there from monday to friday sir occasionally i will take saturdays but definitely i want to take any class on sundays okay uh maybe if time permits i will take one or two sundays that to special class in the evening timings okay sir in this data structures and algorithms very very important thing sir we should have continuation for some topics suppose if you take linked list implementation i need to take a complete class for linked list you can see here if you take linked list okay so you can see these many operations we are going to perform on single linked list like inserting the data inserting the data at first last inserting the data at a specific position sorted insertion in ascending order descending order traversing the elements in the list so size of the list reversing the list searching operation on the list deletion at first deletion at last deletion at a position deleting the element deleting the elements multiple occurrences removing the duplicates copying the reverse list copying the original list comparing two list objects finding the nth node from the beginning like that so we are going to apply these operations for single linked list double linked list and few operations on circular single linked list circular double linked list if you take this linked list concept it is not possible to explain this single i mean this linked list concept so class by class class by class it is not possible okay that's why i will plan one saturday okay one sunday like a pair of saturdays pair of sundays that means four special classes i am going to take every special class will have two hours duration so with that eight hours duration we are going to finish this one because that much lengthy if i start if i start definitely i should end at a, so after completion of some set of segregation so for adding at first adding at last with the diagrams i need to explain 
okay so it is not possible for me at a time that's why remember for the data structures class you should be able to attend some special classes also it is mandatory okay anyway our regular classes small small topics more beautiful manner so with the diagrams with a clear explanation i will provide for you people on special classes some complex topics and sometimes easy topics also will be covered because we have string data structure is there i will take that on special classes special classes on in the sense don't expect every week occasionally so one special class for linked list one special class for string okay one special class for arrays okay these three special classes will be there remaining all the chapters we are going to cover in our regular sessions only okay sir saturday i am going to take some special classes that to from 7 to 9 like that so beyond that i am not going sir okay so that i am giving in in advance information because uh, these special classes will be there only on weekends okay not on regular days and not on every weekend i will give one week prayer intimation itself okay now sir okay about the timings what about the duration of the course initially when we are starting i have not fixed the duration but this time we came up with a duration of 3 months sir maximum time is nothing but 3 months but before that only we will wind up max 2 to 2 and a half month we are going to wind up and consider i am going to start this in the month of february because uh, we have only 4 to 5 days are there okay that's why let us consider february so february march okay so maximum april first week we will wind up maximum april first week beyond that i would not okay so next and after that sir what about the fees for this see uh, even if you don't have time to attend these classes please pay the fee and get registered immediately pay the fee get registered immediately because the fees for this batch is so it is a matter of uh, two movie tickets up okay in my every class i am telling it is a matter of two movie tickets just to purchase this course so whenever you have a time attend regularly i think at 9 o'clock i think you don't have any work happily you can uh, uh, you can have your lunch uh, sorry dinner and then so uh, keep concentration for one hour i will try to inject the topics very clearly into your mind maximum i will i will take some less some of time to understand the concept very clearly with the diagrammatic manner so definitely the amount which you are going to spend on this course will be useful for you people okay so since the fees is very less don't concentrate on any other aspect directly you can get registered sir the single rupee whatever you are spending it is worth trust me then <clears throat> sir to whom we need to contact if i want to get registered for this course so 720 7212427 immediately contact to this number get a payment link okay so and get registered okay so next uh, sir if you want support on uh, durga soft online training durga soft online training at gmail.com you can contact to this to this email id also right very clear up to this sir very very important thing what is the pre requisite for this okay pre requisite for this sir what things you should have knowledge compulsory mandatory you should have core java basics core java basics like how to write java program what is mean by object what is mean by two string method okay so what is collection these things at least you should have some minimum idea so even if you don't have don't worry at all so i will explain at very first time but not every time okay that's why uh, try to refer one more time if you have already uh, uh, you have aware of this particular java so if you don't know anything about java no problem you can continue so i am going to start parallelly java batch also you can get registered for this okay uh, java batch i will give that link tomorrow in the tomorrow demo session 
i will give that link also when my java batch is going to be started right this is nothing but a pre request i think and soon we are going to start with python also don't worry it takes another one month time right sir everything is okay very clear what about syllabus what about syllabus what things we are going to cover okay so here i am going to take this in almost 20 chapters in the first chapter we will talk about introduction introduction to data structures and algorithms data structures and algorithms so about this course where we can use this what are the application areas okay so why we need to learn this what is the importance of this data structures and algorithms in the projects or in the real time environment definitely it will be useful see uh, from the morning to evening whatever activities you are doing sometimes we are comparing with programming languages right suppose if you take multi threading i am going to do this task simultaneously i will do some other task okay like that we have so we are going to compare right in the same way knowingly or unknowingly every day or every situation requires the concept of data structure okay so why because if you see if you have 500 notes in your pocket if you have 200 notes in your pocket if you have 100 rupees notes in your pocket so you are going to segregate that particular amount right definitely why because suppose if anywhere if you require 200 rupees you will search for the 200 rupees and you will select and you will give so when it is easy if the data is already in sorted order then selecting that note will become very easy is it a data structure concept or not yes so that is a special uh, a chapter is there for that also okay like that every time everywhere in every situation we are using data structures okay so introduction to these data structures and what is the classification of these data structures and how we can able to write the program on these data structures in detail about these data structures just we are going to sir all your doubts will be clarified please wait okay so let me finish my uh, uh, intro then you can ask all your queries i will address all your queries please wait then sir after completing this introduction to data structures and algorithms so what is the next thing that we are going to cover very simple we are going to see some sample algorithms sample algorithms and implementation implementation of those algorithms sample algorithms and implementations see because we are new to the data structures if you want to know what is a data structure how it is going to work so directly if you if you take any linked list program it will be very confusing for you people right that's why first we will take some sample algorithms i will take 10 sample algorithms from basic for example i want to check whether the given number is prime number or not so i want to generate a fibonacci sequence okay i want to sort the elements so like that some basic 10 programs i will take and i will try to implement that program in java so how many ways are there for solving that problem we will see okay how many ways are there for solving that problem we will see so that you people will get some idea about how to design the algorithms okay for every problem statement i will try to write the algorithm sir this is the step one this is the step two like that so that you people can understand very clearly how we are going to frame the algorithm and how we can convert that algorithm into program that is implementation see here the data structures whatever we are covering is common for python also but the language is going to be changed okay so this is nothing but a second chapter what we are going to discuss now coming to third chapter sir in this third chapter the first first data structure sir what we have here is arrays okay arrays data structure is there we are going to talk in detail about arrays data structure okay so we have almost some 20 in detail topics are there in this arrays like why we need to go for arrays okay 
how to create arrays in java what is the memory representation how you can initialize the values how you can access what mechanisms are there is there any predefined support is there for arrays okay how you can able to search for an element how to sort the element how to insert an element into the array how to delete an element from the array how you can perform update operation all these things we are going to see in this array data structure okay next and after that basic uh, crud operation basic crud operations on arrays so like how to perform insert operation so how to perform select operation how to select the data i mean access in in our terminology how to perform accessing the data okay how to perform update operation and how to perform delete so some people are going to tell sir my array is static my array is i mean fixed in size means if i create an array in java with five elements yes that's all it is not possible to add one more element of course it is not possible but we can write algorithm for that also everything is possible in program programming okay i will replace for example if i am creating an array with four elements i want to add one more element try to create an array with old array size plus one copy all the content by default that el uh, el element is eligible for garbage collector right so that that memory will be gone and uh, your new array is there and uh, try to insert the element wherever you require so that operations we are going to perform then we are going to see the programs programs on so one dimensional arrays and uh, so two d arrays one dimensional okay then so two dimensional and uh, so three dimensional three dimensional arrays so these programs we are going to talk of course not in detail but three dimensional array one program i am going to take so by taking our uh, uh, btech uh, curriculum for example if you take any btech student so he is having total how many years four years in every year two semesters will be there in every semester six subjects will be there sir is it a three dimensional array or not yes how to read the data how to store the data a basic program in this three dimensional array you can expect maximum one or two programs but in this two dimensional array sir matrix programs will be there right so almost i am going to take 25 matrix programs so that you people are going to get in detail about this two dimensional arrays okay and even your logical thinking is going to be improved and one dimensional arrays also we are going to cover around 25 to 30 programs will be there in this sir after this i am going to talk about uh, string data structure very very important string data structure sir in this string data structure how to create string objects so you know very well in java we have four types of strings are there like string string buffer string builder string tokenizer what is the purpose of these things where the string object will be created scp heap like that in detail we are going to discuss if you want you can see sir how beautifully we are going to take this one okay if you want you can see for strings alone i think somewhere i have taken the programs one second one second string special class yes you can see sir where the memory will be created like with in detail by taking the diagrams we are going to explain where the objects will be created how these objects will be stored like this in detail with the diagrams we are going to discuss okay and even in this string we are going to cover 10 programs okay 10 sir not 10 30 programs we are going to cover in detail information will be there okay next sir after this we are going to talk about okay after this we are going to talk about recursion so what is mean by recursion and what are the applications of recursion in this also so 20 programs i am going to cover purely on recursion how the recursion is going to work in detail what is base condition when we have to stop when we have to continue so what is mean by finite recursion what is mean by infinite recursion like that in detail we are going to cover okay so after this 
we are going to talk about so sorting and searching algorithms okay so sorting and searching algorithms sir we have around some 10 sorting algorithms are there like bubble sort insertion sort selection sort merge sort quick sort heap sort counting sort radix sort like that all these sorting algorithms in detail we will cover and we have only two searching techniques are there right linear search and then binary search how you can able to deal with the linear search and binary search in detail we are going to discuss so after completion of this okay we are going to talk about list data structure so in this we are going to talk about a single linked list double linked list so circular single linked list circular single linked list and circular double linked list like this so four types of linked list we are going to discuss okay so in this only i am going to take a special class i told right just uh, this one one special class i am going to take only for programs and for string data structure also one special class and for this list we are going to take special class rest of the things it will be covered in our regular class only sir next we are going to talk about stack data structure okay what is mean by stack data structure how we can implement you can see here so these are the in detail syllabus what we are going to cover in stack introduction what are the operations implementation of stack by using arrays implementation of stack by using linked list what is a predefined class and a two string method how you can write for stack class sorted insertion into the stack sorting uh, stack elements bottom insertion reverse of the stack balanced parenthesis application infix prefix postfix expressions infix to postfix conversion infix to prefix conversion postfix evaluation like this in detail we are going to cover here okay so next and after that next and after that we are going to talk about queue data structure so what is mean by queue how you are going to implement this queue so in detail about the queues we are going to discuss sir after completion of this queue data structure we are going to talk about hash table data structure so what is mean by hash table how you can able to implement a hash table in our java of course we have predefined hash table is also there so to make efficient algorithms we are using hash tables so in detail about this hash table also we are going to discuss if you want you can see sir somewhere i covered hash tables also one second i will show you what is the syllabus of that hash table yeah you can see here introduction what is mean by hash table what are the operations that you can perform what is mean by hashing so implementation of hash table collisions how it is going to occur how you can able to resolve the collisions linear probing quadratic probing separate chaining like that in detail okay so after that we are going to talk about uh, so tree data structure okay we are going to talk about tree data structures so next after completion of this we are going to discuss about priority queues okay priority queues what is mean by priority queues how you can able to work with so priority queues all these things okay so next and after that even heaps also will be covered here heaps also will be covered here sir after this we are going to talk about graphs data structure so next and after that we are going to discuss about dynamic programming dynamic programming so what is this algorithm how you can able to implement that dynamic programming and divide and conquer algorithms so how you can able to implement divide and conquer algorithms okay and then greedy algorithms so one or two problems i am going to explain with the clear uh, indication sir so greedy algorithms how you can able to do that then next and after that backtracking okay so backtracking applications how you can able to use backtracking okay so next and after that we are going to talk in detail about complexities how to calculate complexities of any algorithm like uh, space and time complexities will be there so how you can able to calculate maximum 
in the beginning itself i will provide so 50% of complexities at the ending i will conclude with all these algorithms complexities so this is nothing but so the tentative syllabus tentative in the sense as of now we have clear idea about all this if anywhere one or two new concepts i encountered i will add into this syllabus sir these are the high level topics sir internally on each and every chapter in detail syllabus will be there that will be covered in our classes so this is nothing but about our course and about myself and about this syllabus now if you are having any queries feel free to ask the queries and vinay sir sir, sir yeah please Uh, sir how much problem uh, are you going to solve us uh, how much how much programming problem after linked list data structure uh, sir we are in in the kind. yeah yeah in the linked list stack queue so in the linked list i am not going to take any other extra programs because the programs which i am going to cover in this chapter itself will give the guidance for solving remaining programs like reversing the linked list copying the linked list okay and uh, sorted insertion where you can insert so how to search for the element these basic operations i will explain with that you can you can write program if you are getting any new application on this new problem okay and okay, sir, this, I, mm, yes uh, please about uh, how much programming pro problems it would be Uh, sir maximum first theory concept i will explain sir for that implementation will be there max one or two applications i will take rest of the things you have to practice because it will be completely in your hand right once if you are very good at concept and implementation rest of the things is very easy so sir in the stack and queue will you uh, implement all the problems no no, coding? no 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 not all the problems don't expect too much because so in the stack basic operations how recursion is going to work how you can evaluate the expressions how you can convert these things i will explain that's all okay sir okay sir right durga soft is providing this dsa course at very low cost it's a really good thing but uh, comparing with other institutes there is so much difference in the cost even durga soft other courses are also somewhat high cost is there any specific reason for very low cost no no vinay uh, it is very simple reason so at initially we are starting this course see if you search for this course minimum they are going to charge 25000 to 50000 depending on the trainer depending on the content of the problems like that okay so uh, in our organization we have started this course at very first time two months back and it is going successfully so first time launch right that's why we will give a special discount for this batches maybe this is the last batch with this amount sir next time definitely we are going to increase the price okay sir any soft copy also provide for this study material no as of now material is not prepared so i am going to share this running notes okay in this running notes only complete information will be there you can see around uh, 1200 12000 uh, sorry 1000 uh, 12000 lines of code i am i am writing right so you can imagine how much content it will be of course program itself is lengthy linked list to program itself minimum 300 program 300 lines of code you are going to get hashing questions we are covering on hash table or we are covering theoretical no we are going to cover with programs hash table so i am doing this course as a part of my durga soft java course no problem you can continue with other batches and you can uh, use this okay no problem it is a unique course right i think except myself no one is taking this yes. sir bitwise sir sir please wait let me finish all my comment then you can please okay yeah, please yeah bitwise and avl trees still no bitwise bitwise operators i think not required but i will cover avl trees definitely will be there in the tree data structure so i am going to cover balanced trees okay uh, what you can call uh, binary search trees binary trees those things will be covered here recorded videos also will be there yes every session is going to be recorded 
and it will be uploaded in google drive you will get having seven months access for that okay no we are taking only dsa with java yeah because everyone is having this syllabus in their academics yes recorded videos we will share okay yeah basics of java if you know then no problem mm, map data structure see map data structure only this hash table okay all these things will comes under maps only yeah right so these are the comments questions now anyone if you want you can speak yeah hi prakash this is venka yeah hi hi venka uh, i'll give some background of it and I'll tell you my expectations as well yeah, okay, yeah so sure. that uh, you can correct me see uh apart from my java background okay i have around nine years of experience so to crack uh, you know man companies okay mm -hmm. so i'm looking for data structures to be learned okay okay, okay. so that's my expectation okay. uh, you know so how this course will help me as well as you know how practically so let's say in an interview right most of people do not ask directly the way can you implement data structure they'll ask you yes. the similar question to use your algorithm to solve a problem in a faster way yes yes okay so uh, that's the one question and mm -hmm. second thing right so as you are giving this course in a less price comparing to other competitors mm -hmm. okay are you going to mix the multiple branch, uh, batches how it going to be no that's no, the second no. question okay yeah. okay, okay. So first I will address the second question because uh, most of the people are having doubt on that. See, uh, definitely we are going to merge with some other batches, but that is not happened with uh, uh, other running batches. See, already we are going to start this batch. Today is the first demo. Around we will take four to five demos. After that, we will finalize the date for the regular class. So then whatever, I mean, how many students got registered for this course after making the payment? we will change this demo link to original link and we will share that link with all the students and for first one or two weeks slowly i will take the class because meanwhile we will plan another batch with different timings and i will take demo sessions for that batch also i will combine these two batches in a single slot there is no change in the timings timings will be 9 pm only so parallelly we will take two different timings and we will combine with one batch this will happen only in the initial one or two weeks so after that once if the batch is framed we are not going to combine this with any other batch even if you combined it will be special class okay, okay. so not with uh, any disturbances so first thing second you have asked about the question what about the mnc companies yes it is a very interesting question and very useful question also see i am going to provide the people who don't know anything about the stack okay this course is best suitable because i will explain what is the stack why we need to go for stack what are the different ways are there for implementing that stack and how that algorithm is going to flow so if you come to the class without knowing anything about stack you can leave the class by understanding the complete concept of stack so my uh, answer for your question is if you are very perfect definitely you can able to crack with any interview question even topmost mnc also provided if you practice because it is in your hand not in my hand so whatever input you required definitely i will provide see if if you take stack definitely there are hundreds of thousands of problems are there in the internet you need to take one problem and whatever you have learned you try to apply is it possible to solve that problem or not you need to practice by taking 10 or 15 examples once if you are getting all these solutions then directly you are eligible for any kind any cadres clear yep i am good so a couple of other questions so this batch is going to be for two months right mm -hmm. okay so as part of a whole this two months journey so mm -hmm. how are we going to be collaborate let's say uh, we're going to create a whatsapp group or telegram group between all yeah, of yeah. others uh, yeah yeah we are going to create whatsapp group sir whatsapp group will be there for communication purpose if any time uh, suddenly if i want to cancel the class or uh, if uh, suppose if any internet issue is there so i need to communicate with you people right like you need to wait for five minutes like that 
so uh-huh. for that definitely whatsapp group will be there with that i will communicate with you people even you can communicate with me okay no problem on that okay so to get to some more about you right maybe it's mm-hmm. not required but uh, to understand you know what topics we going to cover so uh, can you give us some brief about yourself prakash yeah yeah sir uh, i have already given uh, see my, my myself prakash actually so i have almost 15 years of experience as a trainer trainer in the sense so i i, I worked in uh, various engineering colleges around two to three engineering colleges i have worked as a trainer trainer in the sense not a faculty so uh, you know very well in every engineering college uh, so there will be a department called the placement and training so i am mm-hmm. the uh, in charge for training uh, department and i have all the experience only in the training area means uh, interacting with the students and taking data structures classes c classes java classes making them very good at the programming so i was continuously in this programming background okay so i know uh, very well about how to deal with the students all these things so because of this covid just i joined in our durga soft and i became permanent employee here that's all beyond that nothing okay okay so you mean to say practically it experience you don't have yeah yeah practical it experience i don't have okay so okay. completely i was in uh, uh, this uh, training field only okay i think uh, in the case right probably you might have around the hacker rank or codility yeah yeah yeah. Mm, yeah yeah okay and so even going... uh, yeah yeah even uh, you know, no no uh, i am going to take that but uh, not that much high level sir only basic level and even we have another batch is there like a logic based programming course which is going to take by myself only so some mm-hmm. some other time i will give information about that there are uh, only we are concentrating on the programming around some 350 to 400 programs we are going to cover by using hacker rank link so how to understand the problem statement how to provide a solution in all the languages that is a different category so not included here if time permits one uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes uh, session i will take in the demos itself okay okay so you only taking care of that one too yeah yeah these two ta- these two ch- uh, courses completely i am taking the responsibility so no okay. other faculties are taking okay Only so data can you structures can... data structures and logic based programming can you give some detail about it because uh, my expectation is that i want to crack the mang i mean um, microsoft facebook mm-hmm. so this kind of the yes, companies yes, i'm yes. targeting but, it yeah yeah i i understood your uh, complete intention sir but this one will provide you the basics sir not that much advanced level so uh, that you need to practice by yourself so yeah. whatever fundamentals are required that we will provide okay yep. got it thank you right sir hello sir can you hear me yes yes okay uh, sir my name is rakib and uh, right now i uh, in this year in 2023 i am i actually preparing for a java full stack and okay. in in 2024 i will sit in the interview for different indian companies as well as for us based companies so right now i am preparing in a full way so mm-hmm. the, as a part of full stack java i must uh, in durga soft only i am uh, mm-hmm. taking uh, coaching so i will cover almost 16 to 17 uh, topics regarding java full stack so one mm-hmm. topic i have included uh, this dsa part okay, so okay. Uh, so can you give me an idea like uh, in uh, Like in if I go for pure development, so definitely this will be helpful. Or should I prepare like other topics like advanced Java, Hibernate, Spring, Spring Boot, microservice, and web service? Uh, yeah, right, right. Service. Okay, okay. See, uh, the simple thing, sir. Uh, uh, if you see uh, as a developer anywhere in any MNC company or any normal company anywhere, sir. So apart from programming language. you should have a minimum knowledge on data structures because these data structures are not related to the programming so it is an independent of programming language that's why if you see data structures with c will be there data structures with java data structures with python data structures with c++ like that data structures is a separate concept how we are going to deal with the data in an efficient manner so taking the data from the client and putting in our database is not correct so we need to organize the data in a proper manner so that you are searching uh, 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 times will, uh, time is going to be reduced so very fastly you can get the data and you can provide to the client and various algorithms are involved in that so that concept we are going to learn here okay 
so the people who are preparing for full stack and going to the companies definitely these data structures will be helpful but i don't know up to which extent it will be useful you can cross check with the syllabus which we have which you have in your full stack okay so in uh, full stack java just normally it is written that data structures in use, use, using java concept means data structures then written there so obviously yeah, that, then java. then 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 it will be sufficient so this this is more than sufficient uh, see i think you know about collections right collections yeah little little i know not completely actually yeah. i am taking in, the coaching in, in, yes yes in that collections is. whatever we have so how backgroundly how they have written that we are going to discuss here that's all beyond that nothing sir i know up to uh, java oops concept file handling and exception handling after that like gui programming and uh, uh, java collections framework that i have uh, very very little little knowledge regarding this. no problem sir gui is not at all required no one is going to use gui nowadays because we have so many uh, uh, frameworks are there for web development so not required sir but definitely your requirement is going to be fulfilled in this course okay okay sir thank you and uh, saurabh uh, time would be the same till the course is completed yes there is no change in the timings i have given very clear clarity sometimes i will take on saturdays that to 7 to 7 to 9 o'clock like that so uh, i am not going to take any class in the daytime definitely for this batch okay so maximum five or six or seven these three timings will be there that too on saturday so maximum you can expect three saturdays two sundays that's all so class duration one hour class will be there every day so whenever i'm planning for uh, 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 what you can call special classes there may be around two two hours or two and a half hours max that's all videos has no no videos is having only seven months validity not lifetime <laughs> yeah durga sir is not taking the classes sir is busy with some other uh, activities definitely soon you can expect a class from sir not immediately but uh, okay right any other queries hello hello sir yes yes uh, i am vinod uh, i am from vijayawada hmm. uh, actually gar nenu em anukuntunnan i know telugu right yeah 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 uh, actually gar nenu eppudaina hyderabad vachinappudu meet avachchu ante ippudu classes join ayin tarvata something any doubt unte nenu live vachi cheyaracha ledante only online lo nenu no, like no, 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 no. one or two times this uh, this course is completely online this course is completely online uh you know offline classes in this code okay uh -huh. Lele, and class time in tarvata one or two days and one month time in tarvata emana questions unte direct meet a one hour two hours yeah you can direct. you can you can meet and but in hyderabad lo oh okay okay oh hyderabad lo unnaru anukunnan okay sure no, 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 sure no, no. i'm i'm working from home okay sure sure okay yeah sure uh, so yes. text material is provided at the end of every day's class yes ajay uh, we are going to give google drive access in that i am going to share running notes and the diagrams which i have explained everything on the daily basis recorded videos maybe one or two hours delay you can expect so you uh, maintain one one day backup for videos okay so if today's class completed after one day you can uh, view for uh, videos okay doubt solving maximum we can solve the doubts in the class itself still if you are getting doubts refer that video one more time still if you are not understanding just ping me a message based on availability of the time we will take uh, doubts clarifications also okay any other right i think uh, directly if i go to uh, introduction i think you won't get uh, complete clarity right because in the introduction and in the sample program arrays these topics you know very well that's why so in the demo sessions i want to take these things because you people are going to get uh, bored okay that's why i will take any one data structure 
one or two methods i will implement so by my own okay with my own hands i will try to implement one or two methods so tomorrow demo session i am going to take some three to four applications so how we are going to use all these things so that you people will get some clarity okay so these three demo sessions i will take some random topics and we will try to uh, engage with that once if the course is started we will start from the syllabus action okay so that you can you can understand so how my way of explanation is there so how you can able to understand okay is the uh, proper channel we are maintaining or not all these things you can get it from these random topics okay sir uh, hi what will be the class timings yeah already i have given sir our class timings will be at a sharp 9 9 or 9 5 like that i will start so monday to friday every day one hour class will be there okay so the duration of this course is 3 months so max 3 months but you can get it within 2 and 1/2 months itself so february march april april first week we will wind up and the fees for this batch is 399 uh, sir again i am repeating the people who are interested you can join by paying the fee immediately after attending tomorrow's session okay because it is a nominal amount and uh, you are going to get huge content in this okay mm, right so i think you people are ready to start our tomorrow's class right yes any other doubts please confirm so that we will clarify and we will close the session this is the syllabus which we are going to cover in tomorrow's class i mean in our regular classes timings is fixed for next two months yes timings is fixed for next two months 9 pm okay right sir so we will start from tomorrow tomorrow maybe one or two recursion programs and uh, stack data structure programs or string programs like that we will try to engage with one or three okay right sir see you tomorrow tomorrow we are going to have a demo session so based on that you can start registering for this course okay okay sir thank you very much Yeah right thank you good night see you tomorrow yeah sure